Well, here I am driving through the beautiful Florida countryside and uh, I'm on my way over to uh, Port Barlow's place to finish up the EMI TG12345 mixer that he is shipping off to Sweden very soon. But I wanted to mention, I wanted to answer actually, the question that I put in my last mailing about the Altec 1532 mixer. And my question was, what are those little switches on the back there uh, on my picture from the 1970s? Well, those are attenuator pads. They attenuate the signal coming out of the microphone before it goes to the mic preamp and uh, thus reduce the signal before the preamp so the preamp can't distort. Uh, that's the one of the problems those uh, the 1592A those mixers had was uh, they overloaded the mic preamps too easily. Uh, they fixed that later, but that's another story. So we had those switches on there, and we would put them on when we were miking a lead vocal or uh, loud guitar or drums. Now, if we had something like an acoustic guitar, we would leave them off because then we would need the higher gain. So, that's the answer to that. Now, my friends uh, John Hamlin and John M. Uh, both, uh, both of you tried to answer this, and, and John M., you pretty much got it. Uh, John Hamlin, uh, yeah, the story on mixers like that was that you wouldn't really have an on-off switch on every channel like you do today. If somebody stepped away from the microphone, you just take the knob and turn it down. Uh, you never really turn it down all the way, but uh, there would be no need to have that mic open and if the vocalist wasn't there because then you'd pick up the guitars, the drums, etc. So uh, there you go guys, there's your answer, 15 dB pads. Now uh, I'm preparing an article about these Altec mixers, which goes on to explain that they made a later version of those preamps that did have adjustable gain. And that was pretty cool, you didn't have to put pads in. Uh, that's the 1592B version. Alright, that's it for now.